Hello there, and welcome back to one of our death vlogs. It's been a while since we have done one of these, so let's get you updated on the new stuff. Today's video is gonna be a bit more diverse, since we have added a whole lot more to the game thanks to our awesome friend. And that being said, you should really get ready, because soon enough we're going to release the first version of our game. That being said, let's get into today's stuff. Firstly, as you can see here, we've got our new main menu and settings done. This is probably gonna be the last version, meaning we won't change it anymore. Also, if you can pay attention, you can also hear the background music we've added. I'm gonna keep quiet for a bit, so you can hear it. And here's some of our settings tab put into action. As you can see, you can change the video quality in order for the game to run better on any kind of device. It is also worth noting that we added a mute button in case you might need it. This will stop the background music from playing. While we're on the topic of sounds, we have also finished polishing some other sounds for our game that have previously not been here. I will showcase a scene from our game with sounds on, so just take a listen for a bit. We have also added sounds to our bridge whenever it breaks or when you place a new plank, as you can see right here. And, and as you have also might have noticed, our app, our app lights have been put into action in that sh short recording and now they only light up when you get close to an interactable. Next, I should mention that all the dialogue in the game has been remade and improved for a better experience when following our goat's story. The dialogue box will now show tips in the form of the goat's thoughts so that you can get through the levels easier. Also, we have added special sounds for whenever a specific character is talking. Take a look. Another important thing to mention is the bringing of life of our beloved farmer, who now has an animation whenever he catches you and when he chases you. We have also added the neat slapping sound whenever you get caught. Don't mess with Smith. And as we like to lead things from one another, you might have seen in the last clip that we unlocked the hat. That is because we have also finished the hat selection and unlock mechanic. At first, the hats will be blurred away and you will only be able to equip them after you discover them by doing a task, arriving somewhere in the story or finding them out in the wild. After that, you will be able to change them anytime you want through the main menu. Yeah. 
Our chicken minigame, in which you had to steal her eggs when she was not looking, was rather vague and you couldn't lose. So we added a losing mechanic, which now resets the level, and the button will now shine green whenever the chicken looks away, in order to make the game more straightforward. Lastly, there are some cutscenes from our game we'd like to showcase. I'd say they turn out pretty cinematic and they help with the course of the story. Take a look. And lastly, this was it for today. We have also added a few more other small things like the water animation and a small change in the UI which can only be seen when you pause the game. But more importantly, today was Akalud one year anniversary. At this time last year we were only learning how to make 3D models and we still had no idea how big this project would be. But I have to say I'm really proud of our team and I hope this project will turn out great. This game will be released as soon as we fix some platform related issues but stay tuned and I guess this is goodbye for now.